Hi guys and welcome to my tutorial. This is an ultramarine as you can see. It's uh, the end result of um, what I'm planning to do right now and what I want to show you. Just follow the video and the instructions um, and maybe it's a help for you. This is the Prime Miniature, it's uh, Prime Black, Chaos Black. Uh, it's a yeah, Citadel spray primer. It's about 13 euros or something like that. So let's start with the first step. And this is to base coat the miniature with a correct blue. I thinned it down with water, one to one ratio. It means one drop of water, one drop of color. And just give it a coat. And I just wanted to avoid um, brush strokes because when the color is too thick you easily have these uh, strokes on the miniature um, and you don't want to have these strokes they look gross so it's an easy step time is accelerated here a dry miniature and you always have to let it dry then the second coat is the same mix ratio one to one base water just let it dry afterwards and um, just have a look and check if um, every area is covered well and go on. Next step is Draken of Nightshade. It's a wash. You just, it's a very easy step, you just have to load the brush and apply it all over the miniature. Make sure that um, Flows into the uh, recesses of the miniature, cracks and whatever. And please let it dry completely. The wash will do the rest of the work. It's a fairly easy step here. So this is the result of the first coat and in my opinion it was too bright and because I like I like when the recesses and cracks are a little bit more darker because later on you see the result of the second wash. Later on we will clean up all these areas. I will show you this step. So we will use McCrack Blue again for this step, a little bit thinned down. So let's start and please leave out the recesses as well as some areas next to the edges. As you can see I leave a darker line on the shoulder pad. Just be very careful on this step as well. And take your time.
So this is what it looks like when you finish the step. You can press pause right now if you want to have a closer look. I left out these cracks as you see. Next step is uh, a base, Bartos are gold. I'm gonna do the uh, the um, aquila and at the edges of the pads and the shoulder pads. And of course, every part you want to be gold as well. So you, you don't have to follow my instructions exactly, of course. This is only a rough guideline for you, you will find your own way of painting. So I just wanted to show you my way. <laughs> um, I hope you can see it and just use the side of the brush, not the tip. Because so you have more control if you have edges and stuff like that. So if you make any mistakes on the miniature, too much paint, whatever, on one place you don't want to have this color, um, you can always correct it, but sometimes in the later steps it's not so easy. So just try to, to work very slow and very careful. And this will work, I promise. Next up we use lead belcher for the metallic areas, the metal parts like the bolter and you know, the backpack, whatever. I have a blue area on the bolter on the bolter case. Yeah, I will correct that with uh, evident black. That's an easy step. Nothing to worry about. Don't forget these parts of the legs here. As you will see, I decided to paint the cooling unit of the backpack fusion reactor, whatever it is. Um, also silver, because the Mitcha has no extra war gear like grenades or, or insignias or something like that. So it's pretty simple, uh, except from the aspects. Uh, in its hand, so I thought it looks a little bit more special. So this will be your decision, what you want to paint with this color. So thank you for watching part one, part two, just give a click on the orange part two in the right corner. Um, I will show you something about edge highlighting layers whatever comes next and um, if you want to listen to some great music right now if you like metal just click on the choir and official that's my band and my second channel rate like this video of course subscribe if you want to and yeah stay tuned <laughs>